Tim Mundorf with Central Valley Ag here with Mike Peterson, lead scientist at Orthman Manufacturing and Mick Godekin, our innovation agronomist here at CVA. We're in our root pit that we're doing some filming for for our innovation series. We're doing a virtual series looking at our different innovation plots this year. Today for Agronomy Focus, we'd like to specifically talk about strip till and nutrient placement. So Mick, you know, we talk about those four R's, the right product, the right rate, the right time, but the right place is kind of the key one we want to talk about here today. Correct. And we think about where we're at in this plot here. We actually ran the strip till unit and placed our phosphorus and a little bit of potassium in this plot. And we actually placed it about here. We say that there's probably a zone the size of a grapefruit that we affected. And that helps those roots pro proliferate in that area and also helps nutrient uptake, makes things a little bit more efficient than say, spreading out across the field and then disking in or no-till even. You know, and one of the issues we run into with no-till is we kind of end up with that stratification of nutrients, especially when we do the broadcast, which, you know, at Central Valley Ag, we've got a lot of floaters, do a lot of broadcast work, but maybe supplementing that with some nutrients and getting them down a little bit deeper so all the root systems got them, especially as the soil starts to dry out, probably makes a lot of sense. And it, it does, Tim, and, and we think about this application that we did here and, and why we did it. Uh, one thing we had a hard pan here and we were trying to get un underneath that and, and fracture some of that. Uh, probably could have been a little bit drier when we ran that application across here. But Tim, there's only my team, we farm 25 acres in four different locations and they average 100 miles apart. So sometimes we don't take nope. into account mother nature and, uh, as well as we should. So Mike, talk a little bit about how that one tripper work. What, what, how it works, what does it do in that soil profile as it's coming through there? Well, that's a good um, question, Tim. What we promote with uh, the one tripper in which Mick was using is the concept that we want to make a zone which is going to be about 10 to 11 inches across the top okay. and shape something like a modified U. So it has kind of a form like that. And in that process, we, open it up, make it so that we fracture in a vertical sense. We're not exploding in it and causing it to tumble like you would with a moldboard plow or a, or a big disc. So we're setting this stage for the soil profile to absorb the roots, move them on down, and the water to move vertically. As we do that, we're placing the nutrients behind the shank. And uh, Mick wanted to put it in one particular spot so it hit his sweet spot. Yep. And that was about six and a half, seven inches there, right in that zone, as we have demonstrated with this little bit of paint. What that does then is establish all of those roots early so that they can move out and down and fill the profile between the rows and do a really good job. It depends though, really on this hybrid selection. There are hybrids that will be very shallow and they won't go any deeper than about two foot. Yeah. And what you're doing with your, uh, precision placement with your fertilizer, you want it to fill deeper and expand more in the soil profile. Chance for more water uptake and to do a better job of filling the corn when it comes time. And it really looks like, you know, once we dug this pit, we really did kind of accomplish what we were looking for. We've got great root proliferation right there where we've got that concentration of nutrients, but they certainly didn't stop there. They went in and down and we've got roots going four, four foot deep or even deeper here. And it really showed a lot of the benefit of some of the, the interaction between the, the soil uh, life, especially with earthworms. We saw channels where those roots were able to shoot down in long shots and go three, four inches deep. And it really allowed those roots to move down there. And frankly, now we're at uh, late July, we're really hurting for water. We've got a great crop here that's probably taken up a third to a half an inch of water a day. We needed that root system out there and it looks like we really accomplished that. It looks like we did a good job of that. Uh, this particular hybrid typically is one of those that doesn't go that deep. And obviously the pass that we made uh, right here, it looks like we did we did accomplish what we were trying to do. Well, that's all part of, uh, I'm sure what you guys are after is to enhance what you've got for a hybrid selection and how they want to use this soil profile. And boy, putting it in the right spot is probably a precursor for all of that. Again, back to your four R's. Yep. You know, Tim, we talk about the right spot and I'm a big advocate for, for a Y drop system. And why is that, Tim? And, and you look right here and, and we're 
if we're running a wide drop system, we're bouncing the hose right along the plants. And so we also catch the dew that funnels down the plant and helps push that nitrogen into the, into the root zone. Where is that root zone concentrated? It's right underneath that plant. Rather than trying to put it out here in the center of those 30 inch rows, 15 inches over, I don't have the roots there to take up that nitrogen that I have here. Absolutely. So Mick, uh, this is just one of several videos uh, that we're gonna make for our innovation series. Now this is the agronomy focus video, of course, but our growers can go onto our website and see videos across everything you're doing in your innovation plots, correct? Correct, Tim. We'll release those uh, right around September 1st uh, and we'll have a link to those. You do a quick login with your email address uh, and then you can watch the videos at your leisure. And that's gonna be the fun part. Uh, give give guys a different way to, to take in the innovation series than they ever have in, in the past. And have a chance to repeat it. And repeat Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Get to watch the things they want to watch twice and, and skip over things they don't want to watch. So with Mick Godekin, innovation agronomist, and Mike Peterson, lead scientist for Earthman Manufacturing, I'm Tim Mundorf. Thanks for watching this segment of Agronomy Focus.